I know that. Well, you've spent a great deal of money. I know that, too. I'm... I'm concerned with this... this machine. It's inhuman. The way it lets you win a little and then... and then takes it all back. It was ready to pay off. And it deliberately broke down so it wouldn't have to. It's not even a machine, Flora. Now, come on. How much would you give to be 26 years old again? A million bucks? All right, let's say a million dollars. How do you propose to deliver these years you rave about? I'm going to sell you my years. <laughs> How old are you? Nineteen? What would you say if someone wanted to buy a year of your life? That's a thousand dollars, Mr. Ross. That's right, Albert. What do I have to do? I told you, nothing. If you accept this, you'll wake up in the morning one year older. That's all. Well, uh, nice doing business with you, Mr. Ross. Albert, you might pass the word among your friends that I'm always good for cash on these terms. They'll be beating down your doors. Who knows? I might decide to sell you a couple of more years myself. Uh, could I talk to Dr. Gordon, please? Yes, thank you. Thing you, uh, been working on. Cellular serum. You've been successful with it. You must be out of your mind. I'm desperate, yes, but I'm not out of my mind. You've made animals younger. I've seen them myself. Is that it? I keep getting younger. If I keep going at this rate, I'll be drafted. <laughs> if you don't stop, we may be in trouble. Oh, oh. What's going on with you now? You tell me what's happening to you, Harmon. He's in shock now, and the sleep is precisely what he needs. The world doesn't begin and end with Flora anymore. Now it's something else. It's very different. You have a responsibility now. You're going to take care of Harmon. He's going to need you. As he grows older, you'll be growing old. Now there's a little poetic justice, Flora. Flora! Come in. Worth what? Two hundred and fifty dollars. Eighty-nine cents. For that money. If I don't fill the bill, why don't you just say so right out? Wait. Come back. There are other fish in this ocean, mister. All deals are final. Uh, it's incredible what a good night's sleep will do for a man, did they? Yeah, because I like this fine. Oh, yes, I'd like it fine. Want another beer? Thank you very much. I would appreciate another beer. And now to thank you for your generosity, I have something for you. It's a gift, a small remembrance of our friendship. Mm, what is it? It's a stopwatch, an old family heirloom. Something tells me this is a very unusual watch. It works. I push the button, I stop the watch, and I stop the world. Now, if you'll be good enough to accompany me, you'll henceforth devote your time to your job and forget reading, or you'll find yourself outdoors on a park bench reading from morning till night for want of having a job. We're playing cards tonight. I want you to change your shirt. We're going over to the Phillips house. Good morning, wage slave. I've seen the movie on the late show. I've even seen the movie on the late, late show. Sometimes I even wish I was married. It's that my wife won't let me read at home. See, when I get home at night and try to pick up a newspaper, she yanks it out of my hand. And then after dinner, if I try to find a magazine, she hides them. I have a product that is going to put a dent in your eyeball. Last night, I'm in Joe Pellucci's bar. We're sitting around talking about this and that, when this funny gleep gives me the stopwatch. Trains, subways, goldfish, everything stops. What do you say? 
You think about that now. There's time. All the time I need and all the time I want. Time, time, time. Ah, there's time enough at last. 